Uh, maybe it's the afternoon game. You know, um, I'm not saying that we always win, but I thought, um, you know, Luca doesn't mind the afternoon games. I thought the guys, again, uh, executed the game plan. Um, there was talk maybe of trying to break the record for the threes attempted. Um, you know, this is when we were losing, so um, there was a lot of positivity things happening, even though we weren't winning the game. Uh, we stayed together. We made a run without Luca, and then uh, we ended it, you know, down seven. But I thought the guys in the locker rooms truly believed if we can put some stops together, um, which we did, that the ball would start falling, and that's what happened there in that third. You were nine shy, nine shy, seventy. The yes. How, how repeatable is this? Or when you see, you know, a 24 of 61, what's your reaction to, you know, going forward, what you take from that with the Well, I think it's just great that everyone's in the locker room smiling. You know, everybody saw the ball go in. Um, we shared the ball. We played the right way. They, the ball wasn't sticking. Um, again, we, we tried to put guys in a, a situation to be successful. Uh, we're a team that, that lives um, or dies by the three. And uh, today we made them. Um, but we got, again, a lot of great looks. We knocked them down, and there were a lot of rhythm shots. And I think, again, a, a lot of guys passed up maybe layups or the opportunity to shoot one to get a better one. And I, I thought we saw that this afternoon. A lot of, you know, beautiful basketball of, of passing up a good shot to get a great shot. What was the Yeah, I thought, you know, we we were fighting the whole the you know, first half. Uh, we weren't playing well there to get off. We got off to a little slow start. Um, but I thought the guys, the end, you know, we had shot 30-something percent at halftime. We should have been down 20. Uh, we were already down seven, so that was a positive. And we felt if we could just put some, you know, stops together that would put us in a position um, to, to get closer. Not saying that we were going to come out and shoot the way we did there in the third. Um, that wasn't really talked about. It was just uh, our defensive principles. Can we continue to make them take tough shots? And then can we rebound the ball? And I thought the guys did that. Mm. No, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, no matter what team you're playing, to have two guys go like that. Luca went, um, and probably for Luca's standards, he, he probably felt like he didn't play for a good first half. So, um, but Timmy, uh, he, he's had a couple great games here for us. Um, even in the loss against Detroit, he's starting to shoot the ball well. Um, his voice, you can hear his voice. Um, and then he's trying to help out rebounding. We, we started him on Robinson, um, their center, just to see if we can uh, look at doing something different. And it worked out for us tonight, or this afternoon. What do you do from a defensive standpoint and how uh, we just try to give him different looks. You know, he's, he's good. Um, he can get to the basket. He can shoot the midi. Um, we just try to, you know, keep a body and keep him in front and, and contest uh, every shot. With Hardaway, does he have a unique value? Does three-point shooting have a unique value to the offense just in the sense that he can get, you know, he can kind of create his own shots at times and, and just has a higher ball yeah, he, he can create his own shot. I thought to, uh, since he's been going, it, he hadn't had to create anything. It's just been catch and shoot. He's been open. Um, and then we're running a couple of plays for him to uh, get some pin downs just to give him a different look and see if we can get him going that way. So, um, But he's put in the work, as we talked about. Um, I'm just happy to see everyone in that locker room smiling, uh, feeling good about getting a win on the road. Yeah. Yeah, it was great, and I, I, um, I wanted to say Luca did a big thing. He, he uh, took the ball from the court and, uh, and presented it to uh, Hardy, uh, which was really cool as a leader. Uh, his first points here in the garden um, as a rookie, so he has the ball. That was a really classy thing by, uh, by Luca. Coach, how was it playing on such high level since game one? How do you plan to make to keep him fresh, you know, this playoff? Uh, Luca? Yeah, we'll just uh, put them in the freezer, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, I think we bought one for the airplane, so we'll see if he can fit in it. Um, uh, he, he's special. Uh, he loves to compete. He's ne he'll tell you guys he's honest if he's tired, um, but he's taking care of his body. Um, he, he wants to win. He wants to help his team, and so... Uh, it's just something as a staff or an organization we just have to keep an eye on uh, to make sure that he is ready uh, as the marathon as the marathon continues to go. Coach, 
you've been around the league for a long time. one of one um, he's he has a lot of, I think in the sense of like LeBron he'll tell you that he can jump like LeBron too um, but I, I think just his IQ is he competes he wants to win um, and so that's what makes him special uh, you can look at LeBron you can look at Kobe um, you can look at the greats that um, will will their team um, to victory and, and never complain and that's what I think uh, we all love about Luca that he doesn't complain um, he just goes out there and tries to f find a way to uh, help his team win. He did have three blocks tonight. Yeah we're going to hear about that um, hopefully we can put him in the freezer before he starts talking about his defense Yeah, Luka, he, he does like you know like lately he's been looking at the, the steals on, on the box, box draw. that's his favorite stat right now and, and blocks and stuff like that you have the same measure of a good Luka defensive performance? Is there something else you look for that's not possible? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Bit, yeah. His energy. Uh, I, I thought, uh, as you bring up the block shots, his energy, he got, I think, got upset and was ready to take over the game. And um, I thought he started participating defensively, uh, getting the blocks. Uh, he let everybody know he had a block there down on our end. Uh, but I think just we're asking them to do so much, uh, it's impossible to play that hard on both ends of the floor for 40 plus minutes a night. And so uh, I think he's picking his spots and he's doing a really good job for us. Uh, yeah, you got to ask them. Um, I think uh, they've been with him for four years, most of those guys in that locker room. So, um, you know, I think they're, they're going to miss him. I mean, those are friends in, in our locker room that he hangs out with in the summer. Um, he has um, a close bond with a couple of them.